what we've seen here is, uh, you know, one in four cyber attacks really targeting manufacturers. And it's, um, you know, I think it's easy to see as to why they would choose manufacturing because there is zero tolerance, right, for downtime in your business. And manufacturers are all absolutely critical to the global supply chain. Um, and unfortunately, this does increase the likelihood that they would, you know, pay a ransom because uh, they just cannot afford this downtime. Thanks, Kerry. I think one of, the, one of the really interesting things that actually occurred just a couple of years ago is that the, the manufacturing sector became the top target of the cyber criminals. Uh, for the first time in some like nearly a decade, uh, that overtaken the financial services industry, which which has you know, traditionally been the, the the target area in a way in which the uh, the malicious actors have generated their funding. So it's a really interesting change in tactics. And actually, in just today, I was looking at some uh, some reports, and the LiQuest confirmed that uh, attacks in the manufacturing sector have increased by 53 percent since the second half of 2022 into the first half of 2020. One of the things that I, when I, when I talk to a lot of people in this in the, in the industry, I, I don't tell them it's, it's a case of if you're hit by a ransomware event, it's a case of when you're hit by a ransomware event. And this goes back to what I was saying earlier on, you know, you need to be prepared, you need to start planning that you will be hit by it. Just thinking that you're a small organization who only, you know, only, only work, you know, a small number of people in the business, you're actually a very high target on, on the list because you're not likely to have these, uh, these tools and services internally prevent this from happening. So start to plan early, start to think about what that would look like. Start to think about how key systems such as your ERP solution, it, it could be protected. Is it, is it, is it right to have it on-prem? What are the benefits about moving that, that ERP solution to cloud where you've got better resiliency and maybe a little bit more security built around it, right? Such as the services we offer here at Epic.